Annie from the Salty Tribe Company and today I'm going to show you how we are now organizing all of our kids school stuff because my favorite thing to hear when I say go get your notebooks is where did I put my notebook I can't find it I don't know where it is so yeah we had to fix that and we did and I love our new system because so far things aren't getting lost also, I would like to say that if you've brushed your hair today and don't have a pile of clean laundry that you haven't put away in a couple of weeks, your mom game is strong. Teach us your ways. I mean, seriously, in an effort to keep it real, I got some, some curriculum planning going up there. There's some coffee that's keeping me going and all this clean laundry to put away. <laughs> I hope that made you feel better. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna hold up and show you what it looks like and then I'll just hold the camera and, sh and well, maybe I'll just put it on a little thingamajiggy. It's like a tripod, but it doesn't have three legs, so it's not a tripod, it's like a monopod that you clip to things. So we need like a clipping, I need to stop, I'm rambling. So these are the totes. They're, they look, <laughs> maybe I should just set the camera down. So these are the totes and I love this beautiful green and they're from Michaels and show you the label on the front and I'm sure you could take this off and put on a pretty label but I didn't because I'm not that cool um and yeah I'm just you know what I'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you it'd be so much easier okay oh look my stuff that flamingo goes on them all right so we're gonna I have four of these totes that I got from Michaels and I'm going to start with Everett's so I'll put a link because I have no idea what these measurements are and I can't bring that hard. So this is Everett's and basically you have these little tippy sides and this lid part comes off and then in Everett's because no one can ever find a pair of scissors even though I try to keep them all in the same spot. They never find their way back there but now they do. So scissors, everyone's got some pencils. These are my, new, these are my favorite, favorite pencils that we've ever used. Look at me, I can't even. All right. Glue, glue stick, some erasers, and these are Everett's. Um, we have a, we have a, is it 12? 12 set? And then we have of the stick and the uh, block full on crayons, but we um, have those on a different thing that I can show you in a different video. <laughs> and this is chalk. And one of my friends made these, it had like crayons in it that they, that she handmade cause she, mom's so awesome. So then this little tray comes out. Look at that color, isn't that pretty? I love this color. And so I'm gonna show you whatever it has in his. So basically it's what we're using right now and what is basically being written into the lamp and light curriculum for whatever grade he's in. I don't know what grade he's in. So we're still going through McGuffey's primer and we use a hardcover and we just like, he just reads through this. He, he really loves this. This is his favorite reading curriculum he's ever done ever, which is, weird because it's so old I thought he would be bored but nope this has worked for all the kids that have used it we are using well let me do this first this is the good and the beautiful uh, level K reader and he's reading through this and then I should actually put this in here oh no I'm gonna bump the camera if I do this no I won't <laughs> so he's done with this and he's almost done um, we will uh, move to the level one reader these readers are the best so I just, I love them. Uh, Jenny did such a great job on these. So that's reading for Everett. Um, so we finished using, what is that called? Math Lessons for a Living Education. And by finished, I mean, I don't wanna use it anymore. Um, Everett liked it okay. It's a lot of busy work for us, to me. So it didn't work for our lifestyle um, as much as I wanted it to, even though the price is awesome. Anyways, this is pricier, but um, look how lovely this is. So this is simply Charlotte Mason's, um, that website, um, the elementary arithmetic series. I'm not gonna go through this now because I'm getting ready to film a video specifically on this as soon as I'm done <laughs> doing this video. So that's what it, I'm just, that's what it looks like. And so with this, we use um, some manipulatives that I'll show you in that video when, we, when I do that video next. And this goes with his math. And this is what we use, we got it from Handwriting Without Tears. And we use this with handwriting and um, his math with uh, Simply Charlotte Mason. And then he just got this today, so we haven't used this yet for his math, but it's the one inch graph paper. And I'll just link all the things below in the um, description box. So 
yeah, that's for math. He's almost done with this. This is the Handwriting Without Tears print. Um, the way I've written it in Lamp and Light, um, where you just do it without a curriculum, but um, I don't want to do that because that sounds like extra work for me. So I just I just buy this because they only do it one time when, when they're forming letters. And then they only do handwriting one other time in the learning cursive. That's it. It's the only time I ever use a curriculum. All of the handwriting is done through just writing and copy work and dictation. This is, what is this and why is it in here? Oh, this is just for him to like draw some things in. And like sometimes he'll like narrate to me like what he's drawn and stuff. So it's kind of like a jot it down. Sometimes I'll write funny things that he says in here. And these are, he finished, um, he, when he was done using the, um, Good and the Beautiful Level K. Yeah. Um, there were just some stories that he liked reading. And so I just, I just tore them out. And I kind of want to like, I don't know, maybe I'll limit him or something. I don't know. He just liked these, uh, this story on, about kindness. And then this, um, try to be like him, Jesus story. So we just keep them because he likes to read them. So that's all that's in his. I'm not sure why I took that out. So, and now all everybody has to do is just grab their little tote on the jig. And everything fits in there. Just like that. See? Boom. Now moving on to Aubrey. All right, so this is Breezy's box. And I'll turn hers also, so that just is easier. All right. So in hers, we added these pens that we use for um, their art notebooking and drawing and stuff like that. Scissors, pencils. Um, here's her pairs and pairs, and I've shown these in other videos. We use these to help her with her dyslexia, and this helps her with um, spelling words out, sentences, and she just likes playing with them. And I like the sound they make because I'm a total weirdo, but that's okay. Embrace your weird. Um, glue stick and erasers. And so that's her little thing. She lift it out. And this is upside down. All right, so in Breezy's box, and she's in fifth grade. She's doing um, McGuffey's first and second, which I think she's she's almost done. We're actually probably so yeah. We move um, at a slow pace because there's just, there's no hurry. I want her to enjoy the journey and and love reading, and that's the whole point. And she really has grown to love it. Um, or at least not hate it. I'm gonna coach him to love. She likes it. She less hates it. She enjoys it rather well sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time, actually, now. So um, yes, here's the, the first and the second McGuffey's. Um, and then also, of course, she finished level one of The Good and the Beautiful Reader. She loves reading these. And that's not an exaggeration. She really does love reading these. And again, the pictures are beautiful. The stories are beautiful, hence the name. These are just, she, she what I've noticed, um, so these help her read. Like this helps her with phonics and word recognition and what's the other word I'm thinking of? Um, fluency, repetition of, of learning words and stuff. Sight words, there we go, that's it. This helps her enjoy reading and it helps her reading comprehension, I've noticed. And that was like a, like a, oh cool, side effect. Because I noticed she would read these, we used to read these together um, in level one, and then the beginning of level two. And then she just started doing her reading all by herself. And then she would come and tell me excitedly about what happened in the stories. And I was like, Aubrey, you remember what you read? And as a mother of a dyslexic, a severely dyslexic child, that was, that is a huge monumental moment for us because we haven't had that before where she remembered what she read. So that means she's reading it, she's understanding the words that she's reading, and she's remembering it um, at the end. So what we're doing works. So this is, um, I call this, I refer to this in, is this the front? Yeah, so it was upside down. 
Um, in Lamp and Light, I refer to these journals as um, joy and wisdom journals. So I was gonna call them like words of wisdom journal or whatever, but they also just write like poems that are silly that bring them joy. So I thought that worked better. So I'm just gonna kind of show you. So it's Bible verses, so that's like wisdom. But then there's like web foot woe, which is a Shel Silverstein poem. So just fun uh, things that they like uh, writing down. This is what they do for copy work and our handwriting's getting better. So this is, this is how we do handwriting copy work. Um, we don't do dictation in here, but this is basically supposed to be like a, these journals weren't very expensive and they look very nice, so like five to eight dollars each. And it'll take them a while to fill up, which is great. And then I'll put on the first page what years they used it for, because I don't have them dated anymore. Um, and I love these because if you've seen A Walk to Remember, like the mom that had died before, like the daughter had this notebook, this journal of just quotes and scripture and stuff and so that's where the inspiration for this came from to just move all their beautiful words into this so they can kind of have like their own library of beautiful things so that was a lot of rambling about that <laughs> for math she's using um teaching textbooks six so yes beauty of homeschooling we've got level two is something over here we got level one is something over here and two and then we've got level six math she excels in math this is not a this is not an issue for her, so we just we just move her ahead. So we just buy the discs. We do not buy the workbook that goes with the whole um, set. Um, it's a giant. It was for us. It was a waste of paper. So we buy the discs only. They do them in the laptop, and we have the graph paper books that we get from Amazon that don't cost very much, like three or five dollars or six dollars or something. So um, this one's always. Then we threw in a couple of these that she loves. This is also part of what we do for her dyslexia, which is these uh, read-along storybook and CDs. For her, because she has auditory dyslexia as well, um, just reading aloud to her doesn't uh, work very well. She needs to see the words that are being read aloud. And so, um, excuse me, I can't do that all the time because I'm only one person. So she'll put these in the computer or the car or wherever, the desks, and then, why we like these stories because they're not like super childish with like like giant words or whatever. They're it has more text on the pages, and so but she likes these. And so that's why we use the Disney ones. You can use the library. I forget to take things back to the library, so I just don't do that anymore. Here's one of the notebooks that she uses for. So this is um, for um, her dictation and spelling. I just actually wrote a Bible verse in there. But yeah, so we have a couple of these. We just got these from Walmart. This particular one is from Walmart. Look at that, she's silly. Um, and we just we just use these for that um, because we don't really need to keep the stuff that goes in here. So that's why it's like, what? Well, I thought she was minimalist and used to put it all in one journal. I know, but I want them to keep these words. I don't really care about this. Once they learn how to spell the word, they learn how to spell the word and I can just recycle it. We don't need to keep that. Um, and then again, so the only other time they do a handwriting curriculum and you don't have to, I haven't written um, a curriculum in, I've offered Handwriting Without Tears as a special track. Um, you can just write in a notebook. So the way I have it written is where you would use, like for print and for cursive, you would just use you know, a group of lines. So, and then you write the letters that you want them to do that week, or the ones that I've scheduled in Lamp and White, and then they would copy it. So uh, we use this because I don't have time to do that. So I know that sounds, probably makes me sound like a horrible parent, I don't care. So whatever, we do this, because it's simple and it's cheap. And then this, this thing, I'm making a video on this next too. So um, this is Essentials in Writing. And I was, uh, we put her in level three, um, which actually made her cry. And we had to, her, my husband is severely dyslexic, he had to sit down and talk to her and calm her down that, and after he looked through it, he said, man, this would have really helped me out um, in school. So this, like say, okay, so for her, because she's dyslexic, dyslexic, the first few lessons were difficult for her. And we did them together, step by step. Um, and so you watch, sorry, I should say this. So you, I'm gonna do a whole video on it. I'm not sure why I'm doing this right now. So anyways, there's like DVDs in the back. We pop them in her laptop, she watches them. In the beginning, I used to watch them with her and then do the lesson with her, like walk her through it. 
But then she just started catching right on and just flying on her own with this. So, um, and I just check it and she's doing great. So, um, we don't do formal writing curriculum with Lamp and Light. We only do it for dyslexic children because this works really well to break down. It kind of slows down and organizes their, their brain, if that makes sense, so that they can write coherently, um, which is difficult for dyslexics. So um, this is working really well. I, and I'm gonna be honest, I really wasn't sure that it would for her. I knew Laurel I would do great in it, but I was really not sure how this was gonna go. So I'm so pleased that this works really well. And just take a slow pace. And don't let your kid get like caught up over here on this level. So that is Breezy's. I'm trying to put all this in here pretty. Or pretty-ish. Hmm, I should turn this. Okay. So that's Breezy's. has two boxes because her books are just bigger so um, maybe I should have got her like the taller tote but I think these are pretty and it doesn't matter so we have hers labeled um, this one's math and science and this one is like English writing lit everything else you won't find history in any of these because we do that as a group thing and I'm actually just gonna order another one of these and throw any like group stuff that we do so watercolor books and read alouds maybe and like a couple read alouds that we're doing for that month or unit or whatever and then history because we did that together so um i'll start with us i'll start with math and science so in lola's math and science box we just took out the extra thingy here that holds supplies and she just uses that for her own art supplies so that's fine because it doesn't fit in here with all her all of her books so we should have got the taller one anyways so for now she's doing algebra one there's a million discs with this one she hates math um doesn't matter what we use she tolerates it better with teaching textbooks yeah that's the best i can say that um she hates math no matter what so uh she tolerates it and gets it done so we just buy the discs and again we use um graph paper notebook paper notebooks I don't know what I'm saying. Notebooks off of Amazon for a few bucks. And then this is her um, science, just like a leaf. Um, so I just on the top for her put the book that she's working in. And then we have the guide, which we don't write in. We just discuss out loud. And lately she's just been like giving me oral presentations just because the information in these master books or science books are so fascinating that she just tells me anyways so i don't have to ask for an oral presentation she's like ma listen to this cool fact and these books are beautiful i mean just beautiful beautiful and they are christian so i love master books because they're simple to implement and so the way i've written in lamp and light is i've written in simple um options that you can do for your kid um your state may not even have regulations like if you're in indiana or texas um, I call those green states. So I just give you a flip through the science books because you're just so petty. Look how pretty these are. Last one. I'm gonna roll. smell of fresh books. If only you could smell this through the camera. That would make recipe videos both awesome and terrifying because then it would make me hungrier all the time. And five and a half months in pregnancy, I am now hungry all the time. All of the time. So that's what she uses for math and science. And that's all that's in that one. So move that out the way. And last box. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this video is longer than my day in the life, half day in the life video. Parsha just left that one. 
an hour long. Oh well. All right. So hers, scissors, pens for art notebooking, pencils, erasers, and a glue stick. Oops. And I almost closed it. Like that's it. Okay. Oops. Okay. So Lorelai's in ninth grade. She starts at Liberty University next year summer. So a year from this summer. I'm not ready, y'all. Anyway, so, gosh. Next year summer, she'll be starting 11th grade. And college. I can't. I just need a moment. <laughs> I'm feeling old. This is her um, joy and, and wisdom words. Uh, joy and wisdom journal. So this will have her. And so what um, we're going to be adding to Aubrey's and what um, I ran out of printer ink. So that's why there's not any in Aubrey's and there's only a few in Lola's. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Um, so where these gaps are, I was going to have them go back and write more poems and scripture in. And this is for her copy work. And then this is when I forgot to tell her to write in cursive. I do expect them to write in cursive once they've reached like middle school like late middle school level, I expect everything to be beautiful on um, cursive, but I sometimes forget to remind her, and if I don't remind her, she's not going to do it. So, um, these are also notes that she's taken from books, but not like, like boring study notes. They're more like, um, quotes from books that really stuck out, and she wrote Light, because that's the name of the book. Um, and that is on our reading list for Lamp and Light for girls, and then I found one for boys. It's not the same author, same idea, but it's still, it still touches on the same topics. So I'm hoping that your teenage boys will like it, if you have a teenage boy. Let's see. So different poems. I'm trying to show you something, but I gotta get to it first. Okay, so here. So when we were doing history and learning about King Alfred, um, there were some um, great uh, character qualities that he displayed that we learned through the good and the beautiful our history spine and so she wrote those in here versus as a report somewhere else and look how pretty this is like maybe we're just like see you can do like beautiful artsy things without having to draw I'm not very good at drawing at all so we just printed out some of the photos that go with King Alfred and different parts of the things that she wrote down and then we use some washi tape, which I don't know where I got from. I don't know. I collect random tape sometimes. And so we use that for this, these journals. Um, oh, I should have put that in her little tray. Totally going to do that as soon as I'm done. Yeah. Right here. I remember now. I left this blank for washi tape. Yeah. And I put some in Aubrey's too. Anyways. So yeah, that's, isn't that pretty though? I really like how that, so we're just going to add, and they don't have to be about what it is. So like we might just add in like just different pictures, kind of like a, a scrapbooky type journal that doesn't take very much effort. <laughs> or because you know how when you start doing like artsy things, maybe it's just me, when you start doing like super artsy things and then like it's fun at first, but then like it's a lot of work and it, then it takes too much time and then you're like, eh, and then you end up not doing it. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you're all better at that than me. So, um, then I end up not doing it. So we'll, this is, this is just easier <laughs> because then you can just print it and tape it in there and it's beautiful and it's done. And then she's done some blue. So yeah, we love these journals. They're not very expensive and they're, they're just going to be a beautiful heirloom type of thing. This goes with her essentials in literature, which I'll show you in a second. And I am going to do a video on that, but here's her, um, this is for spelling, um, dictation um, and we are finishing up using um, just the dictation sentences from um, the good and the beautiful I've written in my own when we're done with that for length and light so for your high school kids you'll have um, sentence dictation which is it just works and I've used words that are like commonly misspelled or stuff like that and we use Bible scripture to do dictation in length and light anyways this is her, oh, I just realized Aubrey's was missing. <sighs> she took it out to finish a painting. Is this right here? No, she did hers backwards, it's okay. Oh, she has a blank page she still has to finish too. 
So these are their art networking. So we used to do pages that we laminated, if you've seen that video. I got a lot of flack for that too. A lot of people were emailing me like, I can't believe you're laminating paper. You're a terrible person. I'm exaggerating a little. No, that's what they said. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. So, um, so we just started doing this because, not because of what they said, because I didn't care. But um, I do what I can for the environment, guys, and I'm not perfect. So, um, but it, that's not why we do it like this. The reason we do it like this is because um, I don't have to laminate anything, and it's already bound in a book. So, boom. Because if you haven't, if anyone will tell yet. I like things that make my life a little easier, especially when you have so many children or you have lots to do and you're schooling even just one child. So these are from her science that she's doing. And um, so with these drawings, she usually just gives us like an oral report or sometimes she'll just write some facts down about what we're learning. And here's her latest one she's on mantis shrimp. shrimp. Okay. I'm gonna have Aubrey bring hers. So, uh, let's see. This is Little Eyes Essentials in Writing, and the DVDs are in the back. Um, the reason we're using this, so if Lola was not going to college next year, we would just keep doing what we had been doing all along with writing, which is picking our own topics and just kind of winging it. Because writing isn't something that she really struggles with um, at all, but this helps her with the format that will be required systematically in college. And since so she's taking a, high, a college um, English class, sorry, just space. Um, that's, I wanted her to have it, but she actually really likes it. The lessons are pretty short, except for when you have to write papers and stuff. So they go through the essays. I'm gonna do a whole video on this, so you'll find that eventually. I'm filming it right after this. I don't know when it'll be up, but, so I'm filming this next. So that's Essentials in Writing. This is Essentials in Literature, also level nine. Um, and it says sample because I was sent these, um, and then I've been we've been using them for a little over a month, so now I'm gonna, or no, longer than that. I don't know, the months are running away. Maybe it's been two or three months, I can't remember. So I'm gonna do a video now because they work. So just so you guys know, when I get curriculum for free, if you see me do a review on it, it's because it worked and I really like it. If I don't, you'll, if I don't like something, you won't know. Or because I'll, I just like tell the company like, hey, this didn't work out for me. Um, no thanks. Um, but some things that did not work for me that I did try are all about spelling, all about reading, uh, and a few other things. And by a few, I mean most things that were box curriculum. So, um, so yeah, this is the literature and this book goes with that. And then we keep this in here. This is a guide that I love. It was cheap and it's awesome. It says grades four through eight. I don't care. It helps me too. When I'm like, what's a good word for that sounds cooler than, so like instead of using the word made, I'm like, use a simple, built, constructed, created, fashioned, forged, formed, framed, invented, manufactured, produced, or shaped. And that just, it just kind of helps your brain when you're writing and you're like, I just use that word twice. I need to like think of something more interesting to use. So this book is just, this is just a great guide to have. And this, what is this? Oh yeah, these are the sentence dictations that we're still finishing up on from The Good and the Beautiful before we move into the ones I already wrote for Lincoln Life. So, oh, my breath. Pregnancy makes me so out of breath, guys. I have asthma too, so there's that. All right, so that is what is in her English literature box. That's what I'm doing. I think it's like this. Things like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. So I'll link all this stuff below for you guys. So that's um, what's in these totes right here. These totally awesome totes. I can be corny, it's okay, I'm old. All right, so I uh, hope you aren't bored. It's almost a 30 minute video. Yep, later. Okay, so real quick, found the thing that was missing from Aubrey's box. So this what, this is also in there, I'll just put it in there. She was just finishing up um, some things this past week. So I'm just gonna give you a little flip through so you can kind of see what this looks like for her. And I'll link all the things below. So history and science is done in here. We do 
one to two a week on a super productive week. And sometimes we do none for a month. Bird, parts of a bird, this is from Nature Anatomy. Um, bird study we did. Um, poetry and, and uh, psalms that she writes. Um, science. So we do science and history in here. And then for her more Bible work in here. All about deer, she does on science. This is a blue crab. Um, I'm not sure why she put an A on it. Apparently she just wanted to. Um, poetry and then she did, um, these are stuff that she found on the beach when we did. Uh, we went to the south, the south end of the island, so these are some finds that she had. And then she actually did this one upside down. This is a science lesson and this is a leafy sea dragon and her little mini report on it. So, that is that. And she's about, maybe, maybe she's about halfway through. I don't know. So, that's that. And I will stick that in hers. So yeah, that was the thing that was missing from hers. <laughs> and now it's complete.